is coming after it received backlash from a holiday ad and the company lowering the price on its digital subscription. Joining us now is Melissa Arbo, founder and owner of the Stock Swoosh. Uh, Peloton down almost 5% today. It's on $942 million in market value, wiped out in a single day yesterday amid this holiday ad backlash. Uh, Melissa, what do you think about this? It's very interesting because since the stock came out, which was late September, it's had a huge rally. So it went up at about 27 when the IPO first came out, rallied all the way up. Previous highs were around 37, and now today it's trading around 31, 40 and change. So really, it's not that far off the highs. It could come all the way down maybe to 30 till it lifts around again, but this stock is still in an uptrend. Now, again, it's a new issue, so there's not a lot of technical analysis uh, period to look at. But the stock is strong despite the despite the selling. But I have to tell you, it'll, it, it's very interesting because they, there's a term out there. They say, well, all, all news is is any any news is good news. I bet that people bought that bike based on that ad because everyone's talking about it. The news is, I mean, you guys are covering it. Every news station is covering it. This has been going on for a week. I guess. But I do think that some people were, they really did. They, yeah. It was this, you know, but, a sexist ad. But to Melissa's point, this ad isn't new. It's been out there for quite some time. I mean, I think I saw it like a month or so ago. But interesting, in terms of the, the, the marketing and the PR that it's getting, Melissa, to what you had said, a membership now for the digital-only subscription it now only costs twelve ninety nine a month. Peloton actually dropped the prices of it from almost twenty dollars. Is that almost necessary now for Peloton to almost? I hate to say this, but cash in on the notoriety that it's now been getting in terms of the public That's what backlash. They need to do. And you know what they should do? They should do an ad where the wife buys a bike for the husband. Yes. They should do it immediately. That would go off so well. But I have to tell you, as a woman. I, I was not offended by this ad. I like, I do spin, I go to Equinox, I work out. I'd, I'd love my boyfriend to buy me a $2,000 bike for Christmas. So, I mean, I wouldn't take offense to that because I like to work out. But I mean, I, I get why some people were offended by it. But honestly, if you enjoy doing cycling or even they have a treadmill too, which is like upwards of $4,000, it's a, it's a great piece of equipment. I mean, this is an amazing Christmas gift because of the price point if you like to work out. The, the problem is that people looked at it negative, like you said, as sexist. And I think that's unfortunate, but they could do an, another ad, just what I said, and that would go off so well. Uh, Melissa, with the price on the digital subscription coming down to $13 a month, even though it certainly doesn't have the name recognition as Netflix per se, right? We saw that that has hurt Netflix stock over time. I'm, I'm wondering long term, as someone who looks at the charts, what do you see long term? Is this a, a cut in the price subscription that could actually be a benefit to the stock down the road? It could if they get enough people to purchase more bikes, because again, it's about subscriptions. And one of the things Netflix that has done successfully, despite the fact they've been up and down with their pricing, depending on what plan you have, is Netflix. Netflix is about, it's a numbers game, okay? So if they get more subscribers to pay less, then, they're, then Peloton is still gonna be good. So remember, this is this is a new issue. Netflix has been out for a while. Netflix has, has playing around with their different pricing. And I don't know what the what the perfect pricing is for any of these things, but I will tell you that the cost of this to initially buy it is very expensive, the investment to buy the bike. So then you don't have that with the Netflix. You're, you're, you're just, you sign up for the subscription, that's it. But with, with, with Peloton, you have to purchase a bike or a treadmill first. So it's the big investment and then the monthly. So I don't really think whether the monthly is down or up that's not going to dissuade people from purchasing the actual equipment. And that's the big money maker for, for Peloton. Uh, Melissa, we had shown uh, this, uh, what a spokesperson for Peloton had said to the backlash they received. They did say that they were disappointed in, in how some had interpreted the message, but they did say they were encouraged and grateful for some of the outpouring of support that they received. But do you feel like this is a difficult time for brands right now in terms of ads out there? It's hard really to kind of make Make a sticky ad out there for the holiday season because you, there's a little bit of a worry that 50% of the country might take it a different way. Well, I, I have to be honest with you. I think we live in absolutely insane times. I, I, I'm so glad that I'm a woman right now because it must be so difficult to be a man. I mean, you can answer this question, but if you're a man, if you're a boss, if you are a coworker, if you want to ask a woman out on a date, 
I mean, it's almost like people are going to the negative. They're thinking negative. And there's bad seeds out there. That's true. But honestly, I, I love men. And I don't think, I, I mean, there's plenty of good men out there. I mean, it's almost like for people to look at this ad as negative, I didn't see it as negative. One, I like working out. I like cycling. But two, I, I like men. I wouldn't look at it as negative. If my if my husband was willing to, I'm not married, but if my husband would spend $2,000 on me for Christmas gift, I think that's fabulous. Women that looked at this and that were offended are either insecure about their own looks or their own weight or their marriage themselves. I think that we live in a time where it must be really difficult to be a good man because I I, I, I mean, I, I just, I can't even imagine what it's like even to raise a son right now or or, or to be a man in society where, where so many women have been hurt is the problem. And so they go right to the negative, but not all men are bad. Uh, Melissa, let's talk overall about the IPO landscape this year, right? I mean, Peloton, one of those companies that did go public, one of the more recent IPOs that we've seen. As we look to round out 2019, uh, in your mind, who are the winners and the losers when it comes to IPOs this year? Oh, gosh, man, you didn't prepare me for that question. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> to get back to that, I... It's, I, the year's not over. Let me let me let me do it once over on that and think about it. There, this was a record year for IPOs. I will say that. And I think as any any stock that's coming into the end of the year, the end of this holiday season, the end of December, and closes out the year strong, which this Peloton still could because, like I said, it's still in the uptrend. I think you're good going into 2020. Some of the ones that have been problematic. Um, and again, I forget exactly when Uber came out. Was Uber this year? Or was that last year? That was when this was year, that? yeah. Uber, yeah. Lyft, Peloton. I mean, yeah. like uh, just yeah. a barrage, right? Yeah, it was just, there's just so many. I've forgotten them all. Now, Uber, I think, is, is a, it would be a problem one if you own the Uber because that stock has been tanking. But I think that I think that whenever you buy something, right when it comes out or within, I'd say, the first six to 12 months, you have to look at it as speculation. It's You have to look at it as a long-term investment because you're not necessarily going to get the immediate spike to be able to get out. Sometimes that happens. But when you look at the real good performers that have outlasted, like Facebook, when Facebook first came out, that tanked, it took a good year to swing around and make the lift. So when you invest in these IPOs and anything you've invested in this year, if you're ready in them, you've got to give them at least, I'd say, 12 months to get the momentum going to really see if they're going to perform. And that's Uber, Uber must have been earlier in the year, I think. I have to look at it. But Uber, I'm not liking the way that looks. It's been out long enough now that it should look a lot better, considering this is only out like about three months. So it's hard to say with the Peloton. All right, Melissa, we got to leave it there. That's Melissa Armo, founder and owner of the Stock Swoosh. Thanks. Have a good day.